For some time now, I've wanted to make a tic-tac-toe game that's unbeatable, so I thought of training an AI that eventually becomes unbeatable. But the problem with tic-tac-toe is that if two players both play optimally, the game will always end in a draw. This means if a competent player plays against an AI that can't lose, both the players will neither win nor lose. The game will always end in a draw. And I don't want to draw, because not only do I not like drawing, I'm really bad at it. I mean, I traced my hand to make a hand, and somehow I only have four fingers. This just goes to show that I shouldn't be drawing in real life or in tic-tac-toe because that makes complete sense. So first I yoinked a bunch of tic-tac-toe code and made a few changes so it doesn't look the same. Because that's what coding is all about. Stealing other people's code and making it different just enough so no one notices you don't have any idea what you're doing and have no clue how your code works and you don't care as long as everything works. Anyway, I definitely know what each line of code in this project does. I mean, it's not like I shamelessly copied and pasted someone else's code. I would never do that. Also, please consider subscribing if you are enjoying so far. Because I have to make a tic-tac-toe website where no matter how many times I play, the game would never end in a draw. So I'd have to think of something innovative. Something unconventional. Something out of the box. If you haven't guessed already, I'm going to make it possible to play outside the box. So I added a new grid surrounding the inner grid. Then I made it completely transparent and unclickable so that the other player doesn't accidentally click on it. The only way to access the outer grid is with the keyboard. So I added IDs for all the boxes on the outer grid. Every time you press a number from 1 to 9, it selects that numbered box from the outside grid. And when I ran out of numbers, I just used letters. So each of these corresponds to a box on the outer grid, which is selected when the event listener detects a key press. Then I added some finishing touches and this is me pressing numbers 1 to 9 and letters A through G on my keyboard. So this is how to always win tic-tac-toe. When the game is about to end in a draw, use the keyboard and play in the outer grid. Yeah, so that's how you never draw and always win in tic-tac-toe. You cheat. I mean, you, you think outside the box. Yeah, so now what? I'm realizing that I may have wasted about two hours of my time making this useless website. Anyway, I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can waste your time cheating in tic-tac-toe. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next time I make a stupid app, website or game. And I have a Discord server which you should join because I have a bunch of giveaways coming up soon. Seriously, hit the subscribe button, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Like we just need a few more to reach it, so please subscribe.